Alright guys, alright, 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 video time for the day. We're gonna talk about, uh, we're gonna talk about India. Get it India! Huh? That's what I said to her last night. Get it India, huh? Um, but yeah, uh, so obviously at the end of the day, we all know that obviously with the, van the, the vaccine mandates and lockdowns and stuff like that. And, and when it came out that these, these lockdowns were happening and that it was supposedly good for the environment, there were a lot of people that, that wrote and wrote op-eds and stuff to say, you know, climate climate lockdowns are coming to save the planet, like what's on the screen. And they also went through and they said stuff like, uh, they told me I have to stay locked up in them until global warning goes away. And are you ready for climate lockdowns? And the how COVID lockdowns have helped save the planet. So we got a lot of these articles that came out. Now, at the end of the day, obviously, when this happened, yeah, climate lockdowns are coming soon. Welcome to the new world order. Um, obviously, when this happened, we all, we all knew. We were all like, yeah, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to go through and they're going to do global lockdowns to climate change to save the environment. And we were all called conspiracy theorists. Right? And, you know, they turned around and, and they literally wrote one article that said, that you would have to lock down for three months of the year so that you could save the environment. Right, yeah, it's all about saving the environment, right? It doesn't help that during those, you know, those 18 months when or 12 months or whatever it was with your lockdown, that the, the billionaires grew their wealth by 66%. Of course not. It's all about saving the environment, right? Not saving the billionaires' pockets. But... Anyway, but we were called conspiracy theorists for, for talking about this. And, and then I noticed this a couple of days ago. Authorities in India are planning a new lockdown. Well, India must be doing pretty bad with COVID, right? Oh, wait, it's not to combat that, but to combat air pollution. Hmm. How, look, obviously, it's just it's just the business insider, you know. It's you know maybe maybe they're wrong. Maybe they they maybe they're wrong about their their source, right? NPR: New Delhi's air pollution is so bad, officials are calling for a citywide lockdown. Oh, okay, so there's two articles that are saying about it. Uh, the Washington Post: New Delhi considers new lockdown this time for pollution, not COVID. Hmm. The Guardian, soaring pollution as Delhi considering a full weekend lockdown. Yeah, um, remember when they tried to tell us that the lockdowns were only, you know, a couple of weeks or a couple of days to flatten the curb? Remember when they promised us that, you know? That, Don't worry, we're just going to lock you down for the weekend, just to... To, to get the virus under control. We're just going to lock you down for the, the couple of weeks just to flatten the curve, to stop the spread, it became. It went from flatten the curve to stop the spread to, oh, wait, by the way, you've been in lockdown for 18 months. But I'm sure that will never happen here, right? It's not like history teaches us how the, the governments of the world react. You know, it's, oh, hmm, actually, maybe... Um, but yeah, and then obviously we've got more articles here. Some UPI, I don't know what this is. It's probably an Indian paper. Uh, official weight, uh, lockdowns, officials weigh lockdowns for New Delhi as pollution levels skyrocket. Uh, here's the uh, new liberty of medicine. Impact of COVID-related lockdowns on environment and climate change scenarios. Interesting enough. This was February 4th. So they've been, been thinking about this for a while, haven't they? The Colombian schools close as smog in India capital considers lockdown. Uh, schools close as smog in India capital considers lockdown for obviously the new US news. Uh, here is uh, David Fresco. Uh, climate lockdowns next. Don't know who this fella is, but... Yeah, moving along. And climate lockdown. Conspiracy 
threatened the CP26, says expert. Don't know what they're talking about here. So let's just dive into this one first. As the world grapples with the spread of COVID last, the uh, dangerous new breed of disinformation took root. This is the one of the links that unprecedented rules impose during the pandemic with the radical measures that we require to halt climate change. It's no surprise that the parallels are drawn between the two cities. Both have been caused by systematic global impacts on vastly different scales and timelines. There feels like there should be more to that sentence. Because they talk about this. There's no surprise it's uh, parallels between the... And it just sort of jumps. Maybe like they... Maybe removed a paragraph? No. Um, but anyway. Uh, a new report by the Institute of Strategic Dialogue. Or ISD. A global organisation tackling extremism and polarisation explains how this conspiracy claims that government will strip people of their freedoms under a pretext for tackling climate change. It's important to recognise the fear of government overreach and authoritarian is not in itself extremist, senior pillows. If you think the government is overreaching in your power, you're a conspiracy theorist. By the way, oh, have you, have you seen our government overreaching on its power? Yeah, yeah, right. So, obviously, at the end of the day, they're, they're saying here that, that obviously things like climate lockdowns are a conspiracy theory. They're not going to happen. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 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 Well, that was inconvenient, wasn't it? Now, the funny thing is, is that this was updated. So it was, it was updated, so they did remove something. Well, on the 19th of the 10th, less than a month later, boom. you got to love the people that can write these articles with a straight face. By the way, if you believe your government is going to lock you down for climate change, you're a conspiracy theorist and a dangerous. Like a month later, literally less than a month later. By the way, we're going to lock you down for climate change. But isn't that what we said a month ago? Didn't you call us a conspiracy theorist? Shut up, you invalid. You, you, you're a terrorist. And now you're under arrest or probably something like that. And this is obviously, you know, that this is what they do, right? They they brand everything as conspiracy theories. You, you got to love the ego that happens on some of these these rich elites that sit in these ivory towers, right? At the end of the day, sitting up in the little ivory towers and going, oh, "We need to we need to make money. How are we going to do it?" I know. We'll claim that the world oceans are going to rise by the year 2000. Great. Okay, I'm on board with that. Right? Why? The why? The why are they going to rise? Oh, melting ice caps. Okay. All right. All right. Sure. Okay. Right. Yep. I'm on board with that. Yep. Okay. And then they sell a whole bunch of books, and they get everybody racked up in fear. Right? They sell this climate change to everybody, and then the year 2000 comes, and we still don't have the melting ice caps. We still don't have the great flood that's supposed to come, and. And Noah is still literally sitting on the uh, on the on the front bow of his ark, saying, "Come on, God, when are you gonna give it to me?" Right, because that poor sod man built his ark. Um, but at the end of the day, his the, the best thing that anybody says to you about rising oceans and stuff like that. There's one thing I like to say to people: if that's the case, if the oceans are going to rise, why are all the millionaires and billionaires? buying islands that would be flooded. In fact, the amount of islands that millionaires and billionaires have been buying as of late has been ridiculous. Let's see if I can find an article about it. Uh... So here's the top 11 millionaires and billionaires that, that own private islands. Uh, 
Uh, see if there's anything under the news. Can't seem to find an article. But yeah, the, I saw this article where they were turning around saying about... Um, uh, here it is, here, actually. Found it. So, uh, how are these super rich uh, preparing for doomsday? Billionaire tech tycoons are frantically buying up islands and pimped out bunkers amidst fear of nuclear war. So they're not actually buying islands because they're worried about global warming. But do, do you think Bill Gates and all these sort of people are buying these islands and these floodplains and all this sort of stuff? Because, like, like this, like here, this island here. Right? We're supposed to be, what, going to get, what, three metres, two metres, whatever, of oceans or whatever? It covers half this half this beach. Most of this beach is all gone. Like here. Right? All this beach here, it's all gone. This is this is now a, a very watery waterfront island, right? It's like, like this one has a cliff, sure. But a lot of them don't. So the question you have to ask is this is all these if these are these millionaires and billionaires, if they're going around and they're worried about climate change. Why are they buying islands? Which would technically be flooded with the climate change. Do you, do you think Jeff Bezos says, hey, I have a, a few million dollars I'd like to just blow on an island. It might be a, a subterranean, subwater island in a year or two, but hey, I've got a few million dollars I can just blow. Of course not. So at the end of the day, it's all about money. It's all about power. And we're, we're going to see these new lockdowns come in. And they're going to be lockdowns for, for climate change. I imagine there's also probably going to be a few new viruses that come out. There's, I noticed that just recently there was smallpox vial was found. Um, you know, glad that didn't get out into the atmosphere or out in the open. Um... See if I can find something in the news about that. Yeah. Labels vial, uh, vials labeled smallpox are found in Pennsylvania laboratory. You know, the Center for Disease Control uh, Pennsylvania said it was working with law enforcement to investigate the vials. Yeah. Not going to say that was possibly going to be coming out anytime soon and going to be used as the new COVID when the COVID waves, but yeah, possibility, I suppose. But yeah, because as, as let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. This is more just a a free running video today. Um, we're still waiting for trial. We're still waiting for the court case for uh, Rittenhouse. And at the end of the day, yeah, I just wanted to talk about this because this is something that we all need to worry about. Climate lockdowns, they are coming. They are going to be the next big thing. Um, and if people don't stand up to these, these lockdowns now or these mandates now, we're, we're not going to be able to stand up to them when it comes out here. People... I read somewhere that 24 days, it takes 24 days for humans to adapt to a new environment, whether they like it or not. You know, so yeah. Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section below. Obviously, this video has been helpful. Please smack that like button if you're new to the channel. Welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great night and enjoy.